The state is reporting its first hotspot. Today, seven cases were confirmed at the JBS pork plant in Worthington. Danny Spiewak explains what's being done to keep workers in the community safe and slow down the spread. The JBS pork plant in Worthington wasn't designed for social distancing. Inside a packing plant, you work shoulder to shoulder right now. Okay, that's the everyday working environment. Matt Utech leads the union representing most of the plant's 2,000 workers, which includes a large population of immigrants. The health department says seven workers have tested positive for COVID-19, with confirmed cases likely to grow. There's a lot of fear and anxiety amongst the workforce yet they continue to show up and do their jobs. The union is now asking JBS to spread workers out, slowing production in the process. They could achieve a six foot social distancing. JBS has started staggering shifts and gave out masks and shields to workers, but the company hasn't yet put a six foot rule in place. The approach I think needs to change from my perspective so it doesn't turn into another Sioux Falls situation. That's where the Smithfield Foods pork plant, 60 miles west of Worthington, had to close after hundreds of workers tested positive for COVID-19 in the largest cluster America has seen so far. Some JBS employees have family members that work in the Sioux Falls plant. So there was a lot of cross uh, work that went there, or cross uh, contamination. Governor Walls sent a team to Worthington to work with JBS and set up testing sites so that the plant won't have to close. Worthington's mayor estimates that JBS pumps $100 million into the local economy each year. The plant processes 20,000 hogs per day all bought within a 100 mile radius of the city. It is a foundational piece of economic activity. It's also again, the cascade of these closing plants on food processing poses a risk to the food supply system. For now, the JBS plant remains up and running and the company says it's deep cleaning around the clock. We worked well with JBS and still do today, work well with JBS. It's just that now that we have these positive cases, we've got to change our thinking. Danny Spiewak, Care 11 News.